Hi everyone and welcome back to the Okinand Research Channel. This video together we're going to help Ian solve the flooded pit problem. Uh, this one is going to be a bit long, longer than usual uh, and the reason is we got many things to cover and personally I think it's the most beautiful uh, coding art that this map has. I was amazed and I was smiling when I understood it and I hope it'll do the same with you. Uh, so far we decoded sounds and words that gave us map, uh, map on, uh, points and lines on the map. Um, then we saw we had Ian, we found Ian, the little drone person that was operating a valve. And uh, now we're going to discover there is a comic book in the map embedded. Yes, I said a comic book. And uh, let's discover that together. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. And uh, I delayed this video. I didn't want to give it to you right away. Th this is something beautiful, I think. Uh, so you know this map by heart now, just like me, <laughs> dreaming of it <laughs> all day long. Uh, it becomes an obsession. And let's just uh, remember the last clues we had from using the fish as needles on the clock. Uh, we found uh, the slack water, étal in French, which was very, to me, valid. It was using tangent word, uh, real, which was either a ship, Spanish or French, but I'm not convinced this was, or somebody made me notice, also currency also means king in Spanish. I'm not too convinced because this one crosses a letter and I'm not, I'm not that convinced that real is, is valid. And then using the long needle, the fish has the long needle, seven times its backbone, back, backbone length. We found I is one and I is Ian, and that's why I found it was neat to call our little guy Ian. But it's definitely I is one that's important, and it's repeated. I'm going to show you that. So I told you I would put that in my treasure chest, personal treasure chest, because we're going to use it now. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn that map 90 degrees to the left, because that's the way to use it for this section. And we're going to isolate this word. That's the start point. And I'm not giving you any clue now. I'm leaving this as is. Have a look at it this way. And I guess you don't see anything coming up. So I'm going to give you the legend. Because look at the top right corner. I put the legend here. The letter I that you see here is yourself. It's Ian. It's the human being looking for something in that story. The B, which we don't see on that first picture, is the vault. That's your target, whatever it is. R's are either duct that carry water for floating or unfloating, but on this picture, or in some pictures, sorry, it represents a 90-foot stone. I'll show you when it does or not. E and A's are either the shovel you're digging with or the dirt to dig uh, underneath you or above you if you have dug it. And you have to be kind with the author. Uh, what I'm going to reveal you is that in those words that have a meaning in the context of Oak Island map and that we saw we use on top of that to play with their sound to create new sentences those very finely hand-picked word by the author were already serving two purposes, and now they're serving a third purpose. That's what I'm going to show you. And you have to be tolerant somehow. Yes, he needed to write, at least the words had to be correct in their spelling. The grammar was wrong. We saw that on the very first day. But the triangle, you have to spell triangle. So sometimes you'd like to put an E there, but you got to put an A because that's the way it's written. So that's why I'm saying E and A are your shovel or the dirt to dig. G is a lever, the water uh, valve le lever. Ion is, E is ion, I'm re uh, repeating that. And N, that big N, is the way you see it is either the island or if you're digging, 
and you're going down the hole and you look up, that's the sky you would see. That's, that's the entry of the hole. That's basically the exit, the, the free air representing the island or what's above your head. So with that definition, which is of course I'm giving you now, but I didn't have it when I started, that just created that tonight for you to have a reference and it's easy for you to understand, but I worked out first without it. So what's in that word? And you have to see it vertical. It's a shaft, remember? You're going down the earth. That's a vertical shaft. And it starts here with the, the hole you dug. That's, that's the soil. That's the surface, if you want. And you crack the hole in it. And you shovel that part. That's a shovel, the A, spelled that, or, or printed that way. And there you are. And you're, you, you found your entry thanks to the coordinate that were given throughout the map. You're going down with the shovel. There you are, and in front of you is the 90-foot stone, and then underneath is one of those wooden floor. That's the T's. That's, you already removed, I thought it was 90 feet stone, and it was one layer of wood every 10 feet, so you already removed nine, which can be the nine there, actually. I haven't thought about it this way. Maybe that's outside you're moving away nine layers of wood. Maybe, maybe not. I, I, I use this as a, as a lever, but it could be. So there you are in front of the 90-foot stone, and, and the 90-foot stone is on a uh, layer, a deck of wood, like we know, or was reported. And then what you do? You remove the stone, right? And that triggers the trap. So let's see if that's what they're saying is going to happen. So this is the next word, le bassin. Do you see anything happening? I'll start to give you a good riddle now, and you get the key to decode. This is it. So I left the legend here. So the island again on top of your head because you dug that hole. You are here, Ian, and underneath what happened because you removed the stone? Water. This, these are waves. This is water flowing. So you're trapped because you got water now. <clears throat> underneath you get to dig, but the water is depriving you from digging with your shovel. And that's the vault you want to reach. So phase one, you enter that money pit, you dig up to 90 feet. I think the nine is, is the, I think that's the nine we discovered together, the nine of 90 feet or the nine of nine layer of 10 feet. You're there, you remove the stone because you want to see what's inscripted. And then the next morning you show up and then it's full of water. We know that story, right? And now for 250 years, you're stuck there in that position. <laughs> you're stuck at Le Bassin, and you're digging everywhere and anywhere, and you're ruining the island, and, and the water is still there for 250 years, that step. But there's another step after that, because, um, uh, oh yeah, Le Bassin, Le Bassin's got another purpose, by the way. Le Bassin also tells you how deep you got to dig. So we even got the length in feet to dig total to get to the vault. Just in case you're bored digging after 120 feet, well, you need to go another 35. Remember the big fish needle of the clock in my last video, when centered on the dot of the pond, give the following letter, I-C-I-N, I say by that. Um, I, or E in French, c'est, meaning is, un, and that sound is one. And if you're not convinced by my fish clock that I found I-C-I-N and I say it's I, I is one, it's written here also. I, E, I, the letter, C, which means in sound is, and you can directly see here that it's a one. They on purpose put that, that crossbar at the bottom. So double indication that, that I is one. And it also validates somehow my fishy or uh, using the fish as a needle um, that was a pure intuition but i think they really wanted us to find that i equals one and i try to use it elsewhere but at least it works here the bassin you see that i well that's one that's five that's five 155 feet to dig i is one one five five 155 feet to dig and guess what most of the picture on the net locates the oak encasement, cement, small piece of parchment where they supposedly dug some years ago is between 153.8 and 158.2 feet. So that corresponds. I took another picture, another website explaining that 
155 feet is where you're going to find an oak chest encasement in cement, parchment, fract, etc. So that, that corroborates, right? How beautiful is that? Look how many, how many ways they use the word basin. First, literal way. Basin is a reservoir of water, a tank of water. Then you've got... Um, uh, uh, sin was used for dessin. Let me put it in the right here. Sin was put for dessin. Uh, ba was looking at the bottom uh, to find the sea bass, the bar. Um, we're going to use it again in a second using another sound of it. And then it's used to describe that you're stuck. You, you started the trap. You're, you got water underneath you. You can't access the vault anymore. And then it also tells you that you got 155 feet to, to dig. I mean, how... Clever is that? <laughs> Can you use it more? I don't know. I mean, you kind of exploited that poor word. I'll never look at the word bassin the same way ever again. All right. So, so now you get that water underneath, and you know you got to dig 155 feet. And um, can we reverse the mechanism? Well, it seems that using the lever—that's the next piece, right? You're using the lever here you can dry out that section between the two A's, right? Uh, that's where the SS was on Bassin. That was that location. The SS showing the water disappeared, and there's no more water. There's a empty space there that you can now carry on digging. So it shows you that that lever, there's a lever somewhere, will trigger a mechanism. Let's go back there. Here, you're stuck, you got water underneath, you're in the pit, you have to go back up, of course, because it's flooded and, the, and it went up, so you, you don't know what to do anymore. That could actually be the oak tree, that could be the oak tree that they found originally, from which uh, they found the pulley, pulley, pulley and, and they wanted to dig underneath back in the days. But anyways, how beautiful it is. You're there, you're stuck with the water, and it tells you no problem, using the lever, using the lever, you can dry that thing out. And if you doubt about it, there's more about that lever and what it does. So first of all, let's, let's summarize where we're at. Because everything's there, everything we need. The number of action to complete. So again, it's either three stops to complete three actions. Or with that lever that's got a, like a gearbox, multi-position, according to what you want your dam to do, you get it to position three. We're not sure yet. Um, so it also shows what the problem is, the water under separating EN from the vault, that water that was triggered by using the 90-foot stone and displacing it. And we also see the result of the action that ENs get to do, the lever, and then the dam operate, and the water is removed. One more note. Marais, the swamp, in French. That word, marais, 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 marais. Marais is the tide. So again, the, the, the clever conceptor use marais for three arrêts. You remember M with three, with the S busy, being, being the lever to operate, and is now using it as, he was using it as three stop, arrêt is a stop, using it as a swamp, and now using it for the tide. Very clever. Um, so the tide. And then remember where you, you found the word in my treasure of treasure treasure chest of words. I kept the word etal, slack water. So it's telling us for this mechanism to operate, you have to use the tide. That's your energy maker. That's your pump. And you have to use it from slack water points. And later, we, we see the, uh, uh, the bassin is used again for ba. Ba is low. The marais bas, the low tide. So you have to go from slack water at high tide down to low tide. And of course, it makes total sense because the water is going to be sucked out of the bay by the tide mechanism. It's going to suck out by a uh, uh, Bernoulli effect, I believe, and pressure differential. It's going to suck out the water that's inside the island and inside the pit flooding it it's going to suck it out. If people were clever enough to conceive and realize a flooding mechanism based on a trap, based on the weight of the stone, which is a hypothesis, 
I can bet that those people were smart enough to also have a um, backward mechanism allowing to dry it out. If they're using the tides, remember the story. Those people dug up, found a 90-foot stone at night, and the legend says they came back the next morning and the tide operated. You remember, there were several tides per day. And the tide flushed it in with a, with a one-way valve so that the water would stay now in the pit. But that one-way valve, you can reverse it and let the tide from high to low getting the water back it brought in 250 years ago. And if you're the conceptor of such a machine, a dam, a hydraulic system, it's, 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 it wouldn't be too complicated to reverse the process because all you get a reverse is a valve. The engine, you, you get the gearbox is the valve if you want. The engine is the tide. Pushes or pulls or pulls. So this is beautiful. I'm a fluid mechanics engineer by training. And it makes total sense to me. That, I mean, if, you're, if you can conceive it for the water to get in, it's not very difficult to make it reverse, really, if you're using the tide as the pump. Wow, so many information in that one. And look, if you don't believe what I'm saying, they even drew it. I was always worried and, and puzzled by that ES there, which was bigger than the rest of the letters. And I think I got it. Um, being also a surfer, I recognized waves there. Right, you got two waves, and that's a duct. R is a duct, so there is a duct, a pipeline that's gonna um, th throw the water out of the island back into the ocean. That's the wave it's creating. I believe C is Smith Cove, and remember N is the island. So you get the island on the right hand side of the island. You get Smith Cove. Smith Cove, you've got the draining box. Everybody believes that those draining box suck the water from the ocean into the island. Dot to dot, we had a discussion about this, and he put that in my head, uh, and I believe in now that those four draining box is to let the water out. That's what's described here. You get your Smith Cove and the water will flush out, meaning the entry is somewhere else. The, the water inlet is not Smith Cove. We don't believe it is. Anyways, we'll never know until we find out <laughs> what's really operating. But yeah, that's, isn't that beautiful? It's telling you the effect. Let me throw the former picture. So here we are, so the water disappeared, right? The double S water disappeared, and it tells you where it, where it went. It went into back into the ocean, thanks to your tide. Marvelous. What else do we have? So now that the water is out, we're taking a progression back. Uh, the island, the lever is in, maybe, maybe they're showing the position on the lever on top. You see how that nine is now closed on that phase? The, 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 the end here touches the round. Whereas if I go back up uh, on the first triangle, for instance, it was not touching it. And then when the system was on, uh, which was this, uh, excuse me, I got to find it, where we get, uh, uh, where we get uh, here, where we get the water out, it's totally open. Really, you can see the difference in the, in the G. It's, it's a G all the time. Huh? And, and here, triangle is a G and barrage is a G, but this G is way open. So here we go back to our triangle. Here we go, closed. So maybe you need to reoperate this. That is, one time you use the lever to flush out and then use the lever to lock that flush out so it doesn't get back in. Maybe that's the three stops they're talking about. That could very well be because you really see that that G is, is, is different from the other G. But anyways, we're going back down. Now we, uh, we got the water out. And um, we see the duck probably that's carrying water or some kind of floating system. You get one more or many more wooden deck, wooden floor, wooden uh, platform to liberate. And then what's happened next when you're starting your progression back down again, remember 155 feet, what do you get? That's the last time you see on this side the pierre. Well, your duck are on the top. You kept on digging more and here you are finally at the vault or whatever is to be found there. So everything's there step by step. The next one, it's only that little bit here. I think you're here at the bottom and probably there's a way out that doesn't imply <laughs> that you climb up a ladder for 155 feet. If you shovel down, it's easy because your feet are standing on the platform and the soil and you just 
bury and dig under your feet. You dig under your feet. But now that you're 150 feet down with a, a big tunnel on top of you, you might not want to climb it. So I think I think there's a system of tunnel underneath the island where you can scot free to the free air without having to climb up the pit. How incredible is that? I love it. I, it's a it's a comic book. It's a, it's it's a comic book. It's incredible. Uh, it, it really shows what happened. And when we when I discovered it, I was like mind blasted. It was just so pure, you know. Uh, to 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 end up using those words for describing sound to reassemble into sentences, giving clues about how to create those lines, to be able to use the same words again. Um, for that comic book, to be able to use the words, I mean, this is a masterpiece. <laughs> this is just beautiful. Um, I don't know if you're convinced. I'm totally. I don't know if all this is true, though. Um, the, story is, the story is there. The story is there, and it makes sense with the context and what we know. Is there really a mechanism underneath? Is there really something to be found? Is there really a service pit? Is there... Or is that coming from the imagination of the author that is that is creating a big crossword riddle for us to have fun? Is is it really accurate? Is there really something underneath? We won't know until we we start digging, right? But if there is, um, I'll talk about it. I'll, I'll have a video later about my feelings about all this, the more I discover. I think I nailed down who who came up with that map, who wrote it. So I'll, I'll do that later maybe. But uh, there's, there's still more to discover on this map. And remember, we got La Formula. We haven't even scratched it yet. We got that text with that poem from Paul Valery that's certainly coded. I worked on it today, but I, I didn't progress much. We got the pink map that William is trying to fold into 3D models. We got a lot of material still, so we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Um, there'll be more, and there will be a, a revelation coming soon. Um, Thanks for watching and following us. We're as excited as you are. Please take care and uh, see you soon on the channel. Bye-bye.